every once in a while we incur a moment so amazing, so impactful, so meaningful that it sticks with us for the rest of our lives. For some it might be a death defining moment, others it's the moment they get married, but my moment was the day I became a father. See, I grew up with a strong father, a hard working father, a disciplined father, but even better, a loving father. Simply put, and to be honest, it would take my whole life just to live up to my father. But never in my wildest dreams did I ever think the day will come when I will become a father. The day that I'll be responsible for another person's whole existence. Their past, their present, their future all depend on the decisions I make. And that, my God, is where this story begins. So for this story, I'm going to take you back. Back to the day I became a man. Now, as you remember from my previous video, after trying for a while, your boy gave up on having kids. Life moved on, everything went back to normal. It just wasn't meant to be until that one day. See, it was a Sunday morning, and your boy's at the crib chilling, and suddenly, I hear my girl going up in the bathroom. B, you good? I wait a few seconds, and she doesn't answer. Oh no, what's wrong with me? I keep throwing up every morning. It's like, oh my God. So she rushes to the bathroom. A few moments later, she comes up to me. Tim? Yeah? Um. What is it? Now I'm thinking something's wrong. Maybe someone's dead. The anticipation was killing me. What is it? Tim, I'm pregnant. What? I couldn't believe it. I know God works in mysterious ways, but damn, I never thought this moment would come again. So she hands me the test. I take a deep look and it said positive. Oh God, you really are pregnant. Now from previous experiences, I got nervous, but something deep inside me felt different. Plus, let's be honest, your boy wasn't cooking. And even better, baby girl was back on those pills, you feel me? This had to be different. Divine intervention. So the night before sleeping, we got on our knees and said a short prayer. So the next day, we get to the doctor, she gets checked, and just as expected, the doctor confirms she is pregnant. Now, here's the problem. Last time this happened, we told the whole family and everyone was excited, but things went left. So this time, we decided to keep the pregnancy a secret. If it's meant to be, then it shall be. So fast forward a few weeks and everything's going according to plan. My girl wasn't having any issues. The doctor checked on everything and she was on progress to having a healthy baby. Now, fellas, one a woman's pregnant mm. she's a whole different species sometimes she's emotional other times she's good next time she's in pain and then there's the whole cravings thing you never know but it's your job as a man to be whole up so each day i took care of my lady and care for her every need now keeping the pregnancy a secret only works for a couple weeks until the baby bump show so finally we told the parents and they were real so onward and it's time to find out the baby's sex we get to the doctor's office and it was time for the ultrasound you two ready to find out the sex no we just want a healthy child <laughs> who am i kidding i can't cap i'm a man and who doesn't want a boy so since we were undecided the lady wrote it on a note handed it to us to open when we were ready so we drove home and both promised not to open a note until both of us were ready okay tim's asleep i gotta know the sex of the baby oh but wait tim's really gonna be disappointed in me and i gave him my word it's unwork and it's the third trimester now for the uninitiated this is the final stage of the pregnancy any minute now the baby's coming and that's when it all started hitting me damn tim you're gonna be your father what are you gonna do my guy but what if i'm not ready what if i fail all thoughts started rushing into my head but cool it's like they say when life hands you lemons you my guy must make lemonade then it was that fateful night so I'm in my bed sleeping, and the whole night my lady's tossing and turning. Uh, uh, uh oh. What's wrong? I think my water broke. What? Now we start panicking. See, here's the thing. You can practice all you want to do, but when it's time to have that baby, all the preparations run out the window. You lose it. I didn't know what to do. Oh, she couldn't find her shoes. Both of us were losing our freaking minds. Okay, Tim, you got this. First, get into the car. Then call the doctor and let her know you're on the way. So I got my girl into the whip, didn't even take a shower, didn't even brush my teeth, didn't even go by hair, no hoodie, and it's 30 degrees, my god damn, I'm flying down the road like my life depends on it. Oh my god, Tim, the baby's coming. Oh, oh, no, 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 so get on the opposite side of the highway and start flying the opposite direction. Bam! I'm driving against oncoming traffic and these drivers looking at me like I'm crazy. 911, what's your emergency? Hello? 911? There's a crazy black man driving on the opposite side of the highway. I think he's on drugs or something. Please rush. Did I mention he's black? So I get to the light, hit a turn, find to the emergency room, take my girl out, I park the car, and rush back into the hospital. And then came the delivery. 
But right before walking in, I had a flashback. Son, remember, whatever you do, don't look down. What do you mean, Pops? Trust me, don't look. So I get inside, and this woman is screaming at the top of her lungs. Are you the father? Uh, yes. Okay, hold her hand and help her breathe. So I get next to my lady, hold her hand, and she starts pushing. You got this, B? Push it. Bro, my lady was putting in work. You understand? No epidural, no painkiller, just a plain old natural birth. Now remember, don't look down, right? So I kept my eyes up, but then the doctor goes, Okay, Dad, I think I see the head. You want to come take a look? Like, right now? Come on, Dad. No, fellas. Listen, careful. I know you be putting it down thinking you're big daddy. Well, let me tell you something. You ain't doing nothing. The way it opens up? Lord, have mercy. Thank God I wasn't born a woman. Four walls parted like Moses in the Red Sea. You hear me? So I get it together. I open my eyes. Oh my God. Oh my mama. I was about to faint. What is that? That's the head, Dad. Oh dear Lord. I think I'm a fake. Come on, Dad. Stay focused. So I look once again. Doctor goes. Okay, Mom. We need one last hard push on three. One, two, three. And she pushes for her life. I look closer. God damn! I see the baby's head popping out. I don't think you heard me. My own eyes saw a baby pop out of a vagina. You hear me? And for Kate. Then the rest of the body came out. So I look at my child. Time froze. For the first time, I heard my baby cry. So I look closer, and thank God, he's a boy. Everything went silent. I could hear a thing. I could truly say this was the closest to an out-of-body experience one can ever experience. I don't know if they said, man, she'll cry, but fam, I think someone was cutting onions all up in the building. Because I was balling like a bitch. So the doctor handed me the scissors, I cut the umbilical cord, and handed the baby to my lady. She holds him tight. Oh my God, Tim, he looks just like you. And for the rest of the night, we couldn't believe we were finally parents. I can truly say this was the happiest moment of my life. So a few hours later, right after everyone fell asleep, I crept to my son, looked deep into his eyes, got down on my knees, and said a prayer. Father God, I humbly come before you. I am truly thankful for the gift you bestowed upon me. And if you could please show me with one blessing, help me be the best father I could be. To you, son, I pledge my life to you. And from that moment forward, I knew I loved my son more than life itself. So, oral of the story. Don't mistake God's patience for his absence. His timing is perfect and his presence is constant. He's always with you.